The ramp in front of the service hangar at Cub Crafters is a busy place, even early on a Tuesday morning. The collection of kit planes and certified models begs the question, which one do I fly today? That's a great question to ask because I'll get a chance to see two of the Cub Crafters experimentals in action, the FX3 and the EX3. But first, we have to catch the light for the photo mission. Later that morning, I strap into the FX3 with Brad Dam, head of sales and marketing for Cub Crafters, and he introduces me to the series. The models take on different designations with changes in power plant and other amenities. We taxi out and I get to test the FX3's short field takeoff capability. We take the airplane out to the practice area across the ridge to the south of the airport and play a bit with high work, trying out the FX3's low speed handling characteristics. Pretty amazing. We're going so slow before the mush into a stall condition that we're definitely going backwards on the ground. After a few landings, I'm nominally tailwheel current again and we go back to fetch the next airplane, the EX-3. In it, Dam shows me what the series is really known for, off airport landings. We hit the Yakima Riverbed for a touchdown and turn around on a gravel bar, then a nearby field, then the top of a ridge we have carefully surveyed from the air. Later in the day, we have more photos to capture, so we go out as a flight of two over to a hay field that Dam and Cub Crafters pilot Pete Doherty have checked out. We cruise over the hop fields in full green. Then we set up for a landing at the hayfield, a first for me for sure. All goes well and we don't seem to be drawing any attention from the neighbors. It's a race against the fading light to get those golden hour shots. Then we're up and out of there, easily clearing the wires at the far end, and we head back to the pavement at the Yakima airport. It's a real testimony to the versatility of the FX3 and EX3 that we've landed in so many spots over the course of a single day. The ability to do so is an awesome responsibility, as Dam and I talked about throughout the day. We're normally so coddled with our fantastic airport infrastructure in the U.S. that we often take it for granted. It only takes a few moments in the silence, standing at the top of a lonesome ridge, to drive home the gravity of what we've been given, having such marvelous machines with which to explore. And Cub Crafters is uniquely positioned to deliver the backcountry bush planes that make this possible. <laughs>